to click trade on this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLNT. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time frame, I think does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to say it the obvious, but I will anyways. A very, very nice day. Sure, the price did pull back here a little bit, but even where it closed relative to where it started on the day, or if you compare it to where it was yesterday, good solid overall day for the bulls, no doubt about it. So let's start by talking about some areas of support. Ideal area of support going forward. I mean, Hickley, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest? If the price can stay up above $5.15, or I should say continue to stay up above it, uh, numerous times there and then later this afternoon the price got right around that vicinity in a couple of times uh, but in both uh, situations the bulls did do a good job of holding strong so yeah if the price can continue to stay above 515 that would be a best case scenario now if the price falls below it by no means am i saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that but yeah staying above it would certainly be best case scenario next level of support after that down around the four dollar and 90 cent mark so 515, 492 near term levels of support. Taking a step back, looking at the big picture of things, it's really all about the purple line right there, which is the 50 period simple moving average. I realize the price is way up there and that line is way down there, but keyword there being moving average. So as time goes by, this line is gonna continue to move its way upwards and look something like that. So when you stop and think about it, well, what does the price have to do in order to stay above a line that's increasing? Well, the price itself needs to continue to increase over time, and that by definition is what a bullish move is, right? And that's why I love charts. When you look at them certain ways, they essentially insult your intelligence. Now, as far as levels of resistance are concerned, we'll zoom back in here so we can see those a little bit better. Yes, up here around 650 is certainly a level of resistance, but before we start talking about that one, uh, the first bridge that needs to be crossed right up here is the top portion of this minor range right here at about $5.85, give or take a little bit. But ever since the price fell back below it, you can see numerous times bulls try to get break up uh, through there and just couldn't quite do it. So yeah, 615 is a level of resistance. But again, before you start talking about doing battle with that one, bulls first got to get up above $5.85. So all in all, exciting day, good solid volume. So we'll see how this one unfolds the remainder of the week. Still three days left. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.